I'm a very successful writer. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to be uh, soon. I'm working really hard on it, and I know that it's going to happen. Well, I think it's going to happen. Um, I hope. If this sounds like you, it could be that you have a sneaking suspicion that something's not quite going right. You have a schedule maybe of when you think you should write, but then whenever that time comes up, you don't actually sit down and write. You're putting off your writing way too often. Here's another way you can tell. If you're not amassing a lot of words, if you don't have a completed manuscript, a draft, at the end of a year, your writing career is going nowhere. If you want to get somewhere as a writer, you actually have to write and you have to do it daily. Now this can be hard for us because the rewards of writing are far into the future. We can spend one year, two years, or even longer working on the craft, practicing what we're doing, and then coming up with a completed story that we think is good enough to publish. And during all that time, there's really no one saying, oh, good job. We don't have any reinforcement of what we're doing. Most of us are not used to rewarding ourselves. We get rewards from the outside world. In our jobs, we get the paycheck. Maybe we get appreciation from somebody we do the job for. In writing, it's just not like that. So it requires an entirely different approach. If you're putting off your writing, then start rewarding yourself so that you can get the writing done because that's the way to take your career to the next level. It's common for your first story to take a really long time because you're learning how to write. You're learning the craft of storytelling. But once you've learned how to write or once you've put in your two, three, four years, whatever it takes, if you're still on the same story, I'm sorry, your writing career is going nowhere. Many beginning writers get caught up in that first story that they put together. Oh, this is going to be the best one. This is going to be the one that's going to put me on the bestseller list. Any experienced writer, you ask them, me included, will tell you that first First manuscript, nah, it needs to stay in the drawer. Most of the time, that first story needs to be seen as your practice story. Don't spend the next 10 years on the same story trying to get somebody to publish it or trying to get it to be just perfect. The way to learn how to write, write a story, finish it, write the next story. Rejections are really discouraging, not only for that particular piece, but for our writing as a whole. We get that rejection, we think, oh, maybe I'm not a very good writer after all. Maybe this isn't for me. It's normal to go through that process, and actually it's good for you to ask yourself, okay, this might not be as easy as I thought. Do I want to keep going with it or not? You have to make that decision. And I talk more about this in my book, Your Writing Matters. If you're really not sure that the writing life is for you, I would recommend you pick that up. But it's normal to go through this process of questioning, especially after rejections. If you are committed to the writing life, though, you have to pick yourself up and start again after that period of rejections. Either send the story right back out to another publisher, or perhaps you need to take a look at it. Maybe it needs the help of a book coach or a professional editor. Writers are way too hesitant to get help. That can be in the form of books and blogs that you can teach yourself. But oftentimes it really takes a mentor or a coach or an editor to point out what's going wrong in this story. If you stop submitting because of a series of rejections, your writing career is going to go nowhere. It's time to fix that. Take the steps to improve the story or write another story, get some professional eyes on it, and then start your submission routine again. Your writing career is going nowhere if you're not taking advantage of all the education that's out there to improve your writing and to get better. This is also the case for marketing. If you've actually put a book out there and it's sitting there and doing nothing, that's another sign that your writing career is going nowhere. You wrote a really good book, you put it out there, but nobody knows about it. You have to go back and educate yourself about marketing. Invest in those if you want your career to go somewhere. You know the story's ready. You've gotten an editor to go through it. You've had it proofread, but you're not putting it out there. There's a secret to all of these things I've been talking about. There's something behind them all that is holding you back from being the writer you could become. And that is fear. I've published six books so far. I'm always nervous until I start getting the first reviews in. 
as long as people generally like it okay phew, I can relax now it's always frightening but your writing career will go nowhere if you don't face that fear and do it we have to face fear over and over again if you want your career to take off summon your courage submit that book again or get it out there self-published if that's what you want to do those are my five signs that your writing career is going nowhere. If you have others, feel free to add them in the comments. Meanwhile, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know when I have another one coming out. And meanwhile, don't let your writing career go nowhere. Take the steps you need to take to get to the next level.